Thanks, Mason. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Catherine Maxwell. Happy Monday. Hopefully you enjoyed that 4th of July weekend. The weather department, I have to say, was pretty nice for it. Today, the biggest thing we'll notice is that heat and humidity is going to work back in for us. Rain chances aren't completely zero today, but they are pretty much slim to none. May have a stray shower this afternoon, this evening. Tomorrow and Wednesday, we'll see that rain chance slowly build in. By Thursday and Friday, though, we'll have widespread showers move in thanks to a cold front and what is now Tropical Storm Elsa. Elsa right now is south of Cuba, looks to make landfall into Cuba today. It's a tropical storm, so it was a hurricane last week, but has weakened just a little bit. Winds right now are at 65 miles per hour. This is going to continue as a tropical storm past Cuba, and most models are still in agreement for it making landfall into Florida after it makes landfall in Cuba. Somewhere, though, along the panhandle and the peninsula of Florida, and eventually mainly gliding by the east coast of the United States. That path definitely could change though. Landfall can affect that just a little bit, but if it still stays on the same path, mainly hugging the east coast, we'll have a little bit of rain from that system and that cold front that's pushing through. We can expect widespread rain on Thursday and even into Friday. We notice that here with our chance of rain graphic really shoots up to that widespread category. Even Friday could possibly hover into that widespread category too. But for both Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll have just a couple of scattered showers move into the area today. Stray shower isn't completely off the table. High pressure though, that's what's going to keep us mostly dry for the next couple of days. That's going to stay into our area. Today, we'll notice those temperatures much warmer than what we saw over the weekend. Most of us will have highs into the 80s, even the 90s. For Pineville, thinking a high of 90 degrees. Beckley, we're thinking we'll hit 86. Bluefield, Virginia, and Lewisburg, we'll think we'll be tied at 85. Notice that rain chance, though, for each place is just at a 20% chance. So most of us look to stay dry today. So if you're still celebrating 4th of July, have off of work today, and want to do something outdoors, you should be in the clear for the most part. We'll keep up with the humidity though through today and into Wednesday. Dew points will read 50s and 60s. Thursday and Friday will feel very humid out there since that tropical air mass will be pretty close to home. So let's look at future cast. Just a couple of stray showers can't be completely ruled out this afternoon and this evening. Tonight we should be dry with a mixture of mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. Temperatures tonight will be in the 60s, so slightly warmer than what we're seeing this morning. Tomorrow still hot and humid. Better chance for coverage of showers. Still not very impressive though. I think most of the area will still be dry for Tuesday and even into Wednesday. We may have an isolated rumble of thunder for tomorrow and for Wednesday. Nothing severe though. Look at that rain chance for Thursday though. 70% chance, 50% chance for showers and storms on Friday. Keep your eyes on those days throughout this work week since we are tracking that cold front and also those precipitation chances could change.